hypothesis testing for the population mean using a normal distribution with known population standard deviation. In this example, the weights of the loaves of bread are normally distributed with standard deviation 24. So that's the population standard deviation. The machine is set to produce loaves with a mean weight of 1000 grams. That's the population mean. We've got a sample of 9. and the mean of this sample, so if you add them up, divide by 9, so x bar so we're testing to see whether the machine produces loaves with a weight of 1000 grams, this will be a two-tailed test h0, the mean is equal to 1000 H1 not equal to 1000. Two tail test at the 5% significance level. So we split the 5%, 2.5% in each tail. So 95% goes in the centre. So we have two critical regions where we reject H0. We accept H0 in the centre. The cumulative probability to the left of this line is 97.5%. So we look at P is equal to 0 0.975 from the tables to get a Z value zero point nine seven five Z value one point nine six plus or minus one point nine six. So minus one point nine six plus one point nine six. Our test statistic, Z, is calculated using this formula, which is in the formula book on page 12. So minus 3.74 is our test statistic. And we can see that on our sketch here, minus 3.74 is less than minus 1.96. So our test value is in the critical region, so we're going to reject H0. So we can conclude, using the context of the question, that there is sufficient evidence that the machine is not operating correctly. Now for this calculation, you can see there's a fraction within a fraction. So on the calculator, Start off by pressing the fractions key once. Put in the top line press the fractions key a second time to get the test statistic. The wrong way to do it is like this. You press the fractions key once and then you press the fractions key again and then you put everything in. That will give you the wrong value.